Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, MC Sam. My name is Sam and today we're going to be uh, messing with the Roughly Enough Items mod. I'm going to kind of do a showcase on it. So, first of all, I'm going to talk about the main use. The main things that you're going to be using this mod for. So, you want to find the crafting recipe for certain items. So I have a lot of other bots installed as well, so you can kind of see the different crafting recipes and how it even, it, it works well with other mods as well. So it doesn't have to just be, you know, um, um, vanilla Minecraft. It works with other mods and it shows you the crafting recipes and even, not even just crafting recipes, but, you know, if you want to turn cobblestone into stone, it'll show you the process for that. It, you know, it even tells you how much experience and how long it'll take. Or if you if you're mining a block, it says oh with uh you get stone if you mine stone, but that's only if you use silk touch, you know. And then you know grass block you get silk touch. So or and it'll show you the entity loot drops as well, which is extremely extremely helpful. Uh, I can show you professions. So how you get a mason villager, you use a stone cutter, you shepherd, you use a loom. Issues. It'll show you and if you have mods installed that lets you have, like use fluid as fuel. So there's all these different things that it can be useful for, especially when it comes to integrating other mods into you know into a mod pack, and you want to mess with it, and you you don't want to have to go through the hassle of googling all the different crafting recipes, or you know if a mod shows you what the crafting recipe, you know, or the process or whatever, you don't have to go through the, the hassle of Googling all of that stuff for each and every recipe. So, Roughly Enough Items is really extremely useful for that. Now, let's get into the more functionality of the mod itself and kind of the behind-the-scenes details that you can mess with. So now, uh, you can enable cheat mode, which just basically you can... You can click on an item here, drag it into your inventory. You can change it so that cheat, you can turn off cheating from here, to enable it. You can go here and you can switch the side panel for where you want that to be. If I had a potion effect, like if I give myself, um, I don't need it for long, but if I just give myself uh, like night vision, you can kind of see here if I, if I, um, I can change this to a night vision. I can have it on the right side or the left side. I'll, I'll usually stick to the left side because then this side is a bit more clean and everything. Because like if I have it on the uh, right side, then you know it kind of bunches in with all the crafting or with all the blocks and everything. So I usually like to keep that on the left side. Alternatively, you could you know switch them around, but this is like this is the default side that I usually like to keep it on. You can get rid of you can have a scrolling side panel if you guys prefer that. So it's very similar to like if you're searching for items in creative mode, you just have this little scroll bar that you can go through. Um, there's a you can if you want to search for a specific item, especially like in your inventory. Let's say you have it you have your your inventory Oh, this is also a really nice feature as well. It's a search bar. So you can just search for anything. If you want to know the crafting recipe here, let me turn off uh, cheating. If you want to know the crafting recipe of iron ingots, you know, you can just search for iron and then look. Oh, iron nuggets. Okay. And then, here, let me get a crafting table because this even extends even further than just this. Let me give myself an uh, iron block. Some iron ingots and some, or it's not iron nuggets and iron ingots. So I can go to here and then if I just shift, so I just click, uh, you could either, if you're not in cheat mode, you can actually just click. You don't even have to press R, which normally is what you'd have to do. You, you have to press R and it'll show you the recipe. Okay, yes, thank you, music, for guiding me through. Um, otherwise, you can just click and it'll also show you the recipe. Yeah, that's left click. If you right click, you can see the uses for it. Alternatively, you can just press U and it'll do the same thing as right click. But yeah, so let's say I wanna, I wanna find the uses for my iron blocks. Well, 
Okay, one of the uses is I can turn it into iron ingots. Well, let's say I have a, or yeah, if I want to turn my iron blocks into iron ingots, you know, I could just click into there. But you could, you can also just find the recipe. If you have the iron blocks in your inventory, shift, shift, uh, click this, and then it'll automatically bring the blocks into the, into the crafting space. Now, you can also just, you know, do this if you want to, or if you want to do the opposite, this is where it becomes extremely useful, is if you want to turn a bunch of different items into, like, let's say you want to craft a dispenser. You know, you have one piece of redstone, seven cobblestone, and then a bow. You know, you could individually put all those items in there. It wouldn't take you long, but alternatively, you could just find the recipe for the block of iron, shift click, and it'll it'll drag all the items into the crafting table, and then you can recraft the block of iron. Same thing with like the iron nuggets, do that, boom, and then you can turn them back. So that's a really helpful thing to do. So yeah, like I was saying, let's get back into this. Now, so this will is, so you can you can change where you want the feel with the position of the search bar. So by default, and where I usually like to have it is in the middle, but you can have it at the bottom, bottom left, or if you have it switched where it's on the left panel, then it'll be at the or be at the bottom right over here if you have it on the right side, bottom left if you have the left panel like that. Let me switch it back to the, there we go. And then you can also, instead, you can even have it at the top. You can have all this stuff at the top, if you if you prefer it that way. Uh, config, close the position of the config button. So you can have this configuration button. You can have this up here. And then just have the search in the in this this button here, the showing craftable or showing all. So you can change you can change a lot of the buttons around wherever you would like them to be and prefer them to be. Uh, you can even turn off the craftable filter. So there's a lot of different things that you guys can go through. Like this is my this is the the one that I love to mess with. Is you can change. So let me if I go from this. I like to change the side. So I usually like to keep it about where it's 12, 12 wide. So you'll see, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12, you know, different items. And obviously that shrinks a little bit whenever you have this recipe window open. But whenever you just have like a, your inventory, usually if you have like a crafting grid, you know, you have a crafting grid open, um, it'll show and then that just makes it easier because you know you have more recipes that you can choose from so I usually like to keep it at 12 um, you can also mess with this slider as well um, so it drops it down um, just things to keep in mind you can mess with like the favorites columns this this thing was just the highlighting mode where, so like if you wanted to look for iron in your inventory, you can have it like that. Um, otherwise, oh wait, this is part of favorite, I believe. Okay. Let's just keep it like that. So, and then you can also just, if you want to get rid of, um, Yeah, so you can have syntax highlighting as well, and there's some other things that you can do. Functionality, you can have the vanilla recipe book. I mean, it just says, it, it, I think I think it's just referring to like the, the recipe, yeah, okay. The recipe book that shows up. Uh, mob effects, we put that on the left side. So a lot of this stuff here, especially like the basics, the appearance and the functionality already show up here in this con configuration button. So you can just kind of go through some of these. You can even have it set to a dark theme. Here, let me turn off inventory highlighting. Um, so now it's all dark instead of when it, if we turn that back off, then, you know, the usual kind of like gray, like grayish 
type thing here, and then the light gray there. And yeah, you can change the key binds as well. So as you can see here, show recipe and show uses. It's set to R and U by default. You can you can even turn off this thing, or you, if you just hit Control O, you can get rid of like the background REI settings. You can set key binds for like going to the to different pages. So like if you if there's you know multiple, uh, let's say you have multiple uses for a block, you know, or an item. And you could set a key bind to go through to have it go through the next page, and then you could also set. I'm assuming you can set a key bind for the next category as well, right? Maybe not. It would be nice if you could go through like the next category as well. But uh, you can copy the recipe identifier. So if there's a recipe and you want to know what mod adds that recipe, then you can do that. Uh, favorite entry. You can set like favorite items. So like. So if you press A, then that's how you get this. So you just have to press A again, and it'll get rid of it. Um, let's see. Um, okay. I think that's pretty much it for those three tabs. Now we can kind of get into the advanced tabs. Um, so you can have this where it displays this. Press A, you can have like tool tips for the favorites tab, and you press A to remove this from favorites. But I I usually like to keep that off, because um, then you don't get that, you know, annoying text there. This is the layout, so you can have maximum recipes per page. Um, and it says, declares the maximum amount of recipes displayed in a page if possible. So if we just set that to that, then yeah, see, you can see that it... It gets a lot smaller. The thing gets a lot smaller. But then if we, you know, go back up to um, to the 8 value that it was at, then you can see that the crafting thing, crafting area is, or the recipe area is a lot bigger. Um, let's, let's see, let's see. And then you can kind of mess with the recipe height, or the recipe page height. Uh, entry panel debug mode. Some of these I'm not entirely sure because I, I mean, most of the stuff that I've already gone through are just things that you guys will like. That's going to be the main stuff that you're going to be messing with, anyways. So, like, this sort of stuff here isn't really going to be that important. Um, unless you guys really want to mess with some of the settings, but there's personally, I don't think there really is any need for that to be honest um searching this i mean this here is actually a really useful one as well so if you have you know like i said you have multiple mods and you want to search for um or if you want to search for a tool tip or a tag search or identifier search normally these would be like the prefixes that you'd have to put so you could put like the the um, number symbol for the tooltip, or the uh, dollar symbol for the tag search, or the uh, the sensor thing. I don't remember what those are called. I wish I could, but the that thing for the identifier or the at symbol for the mod search. So, but you could instead just do. I mean, it'll at least specify that you want to look for a tag search. Um, if you do it like this, but as long as you type out the whole, um, thing anyway, so let's say I wanted to look for industrial revolution, like it'll, all it needs is industrial and it will know like, oh, well, if I, yeah, if I start typing in industrial revolution, it'll know like, oh yeah, it's from industrial revolution mod. But if I just type in like industrial then there's other there's other things that will come up you know so it, it's so that's the, so in in those cases it is useful so if, if i wanted to look up um i don't know yeah there, there's definitely instances where it's going to be very useful um but and then others it's kind of not super necessary 
to put the symbol, but as long as you know what you're searching for, it doesn't really matter. That's why I do like to keep this on, because I usually know what I'm searching for, so I don't need to use the symbols. And yeah, I mean, honestly, that's about it. If you want to get into filtering, um, it gets a little bit more complicated, but... I'm honestly not entirely sure how this filtering process works, but I can always make a video on that if you guys would like to learn more about that. Yep, my name is Sam, and uh, if you guys like today's video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It's a, it's my second channel, so if you guys want to follow my main one as well, Blood, the Blood Samurai, I'd really appreciate that. But yep, let me know if you guys want to see me play more of this. Uh, play, well, just kind of showcase some more mods, because that's kind of what I'm having fun doing. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.